This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by Domain.com. BitTorrent Sync 1.4 has arrived. It's the latest beta in this awesome file syncing software from the BitTorrent crew. We've had a few days to play around with it, and we're actually pretty impressed. They might be wondering what exactly is new. The GUI! It's pretty, actually. <laughs> uh, they, they've made some major pretty. changes to the GUI. Yeah, so they have improved quite a bit. They made it a lot easier to do things like sharing yeah. by adding the option to email links to folders. For example, um, I can pull up mine. I'm just going to share a folder called Python, because I do a whole bunch of Python scripts, and then hit Select Folder. I can choose email or copy or QR code. Uh, for email, you have to set up your email client, but it'll just copy to your clipboard. So let's say I want to send this over to Patrick at Discovery DN. There we go. And then I'll send it over to him. So he should get that link in a couple of seconds, and when he does, it'll look something like this. Oh, there it is. Oh, look, a link in an email. I'll click on it. <laughs> it's legit, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that before. So Patrick will click on that and he'll just install Sync if he doesn't have it already pre-installed. On my end, I can also set the level of security for that folder while he's installing it. Uh, so I can choose either to do read only or I can do read and write as well. So if it's read only, he'll just be able to look at the files. If it's read and write, he'll be able to you know, copy and edit and do things like that, delete or whatever. And then I can also set uh, permissions, like it'll expire in three days or uh, the peers I invite must be improved on this device. So once he actually gets it installed and everything, it'll pop up a little thing that says, hey, Patrick wants to be able to access this Python uh, script folder, and then I'll be able to give him access. Also, instead of having to deal with sending around secret keys, you'll get a normal URL that you can just send to anybody. That's the super easy part about this. The receiver can open this link with the folder details, and they'll be prompted to install if they don't have Bit BitTorrent Sync yet. And as the sender, I can approve their request once it comes in or deny it. That way, you can verify that oh. the right person is trying to actually download your data. I'm pending. You're pending, yay. <laughs> okay, pending. so once he's pending, I should see his pending request in a few moments. There it is. So it says approval request, Patrick Norton wants to access. So up here at the top, I'll be able to just hit the little check mark and it'll get, give him access. So on his end, in just a few seconds or so, it'll actually give him the access to that folder and you can download all the files. Oh, so oh. cool. Yes. Yay, it works. Oh, and you gave me the ability to share it so I can share it to other people. Yeah, that's okay. It's just a bunch of Python scripts. <laughs> are they the Python? Oh, they are the Python. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of Python. Yeah, lots of Python scripts. It's fun. I do programming. It's enjoyable. I do programming. Uh, also, on mobile, you can scan a QR code to receive a link, or you can just open a shared link to access a folder. You can selectively sync files and folders so that you don't eat up all your storage space, which can be really bad. And then you also have options to send via wireless or mobile data. So that can be really, really useful if you don't have wireless available in your area. You can save battery life and you can set sync intervals and then setting up a camera backup is super, super easy as well. You just have to click a button and that's it. And then your camera backup is all set up. Just make sure you're not sharing that with the wrong people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or you're going to share your stuff with everyone and that can be mortally <laughs> embarrassing. You know, we, uh, Michael and I had a chance to talk to the dev team and they're also taking more of an active role in developing plugins for things like NAS devices so that you can use Sync everywhere your data is stored. That seemed like a real priority for them, which I think is great because Sync allows you to do a lot of stuff simply and privately. Uh, as in, your, you, you know, the thing about Sync is it's, it's your data or your data you share with your friends or the data your friends share with you. But the BT Sync uh, 1.4 desktop app should be out by the time you see this video and the mobile apps will be rolling out throughout the day after Yay! that. So if you're a fan of BitTorrent Sync like we are, go check out the latest version of the beta. And if you're thinking to yourself, I can't trust my data with a beta application, try to remember that Gmail was in beta for seven years. Yeah. Beta is just a state of <laughs> mind, people. In this case, it's very a very true. functional state of mind. Um, <laughs> very pretty state of mind, so too. Coming up next, we have some fun with gaming motherboards. But first, it's time to thank one of our sponsors.
When you buy a domain from Domain.com, you get the power to influence and control what people find when they search for you online. No other domain extensions tell your story with the same trust of a .com or a .net domain name. .com and .net domain extensions inject credibility into your online presence, and who doesn't want to be credible? We like Domain.com because they're affordable, they're reliable, and they're easy to use. A .com domain is only $9.99 per year, and a .net is only $8.99 per year. Plus, the folks at Domain.com gave Techzilla an awesome offer for even more savings. You can get 20% off Domain.com's already affordable domain names and web hosting when you use the coupon code Techzilla at checkout. That's 20% off, aka big time savings. Don't forget to use the coupon code Techzilla. And when you think domain names, think Domain.com.